Let's take a look at your breakfast. Here's a fun fact. You practically eat the same foods for breakfast years on end. Historically, we ate leftovers from the night before. That is why different cultures eat differently for breakfast. Many historians claim we actually didn't eat breakfast until the Victorian era. Most tribes had to hunt and gather and also we had to go farm before we could even consider about eating breakfast. Breakfast became more popular after we invented to store food. Until the invention of refrigerators, only the wealthy who had time servants ate breakfast. This all changed with the invention of cheap processed foods like cornflakes. Cornflakes was released in 1894 and believe it or not a health product. Cornflakes is made from refined corn, fats removed from its grain, then dehydrated and pressed into small flakes. Corn flakes itself is a GI of 91, sugar is a GI of 100. That's pretty high. There is currently 5,000 brands of cereals on the market pushing to millions of kids each day. There are many misconceptions about skipping breakfast. Bad signs have become embedded in the nutritional dogma. The food industry have you to believe that skipping breakfast is bad and unhealthy. The food industry conglomerates have a massive marketing budget and also have a massive clout over government officials. This allows them to influence government health advice. Can you imagine millions of people suddenly not eating breakfast? They would literally lose billions of dollars each year. Some observational studies have claimed that the children perform badly skipping breakfast due to the lack of glucose in their brain. However, when we look closer at these studies, the opposite proven to be true. So the question remains, should I then eat breakfast? This then becomes a personal preference to you. Some people run really well with breakfast and some others don't. The only thing I can recommend is stop feeding our children this sugary cereal.